Oh, that's a salamander. Oh shit, hey little guy. Yeah. So this here, mm -hmm. this is Ophiocordyceps ravinelli. Um, it is a black cordyceps uh, type mushroom, entomopathogenic fungi that grows on a June bug larva. Um, so this is a Ophiocordyceps that grows on uh, Coleoptera. Um, so as I dig down here, um, we'll start to see uh, where the insect buried itself. And these are typically growing on the larva of the June bug. Uh, we find these mushrooms in May. So most of these larva, if not disturbed, would have gone through their full life cycle and in June uh, pup come to full uh, adult form as a, as a beetle. And uh, we call them June, be June bugs or June beetles because of the, we see them that time of summer. Um, this one's pretty deep down and I want up, oh, there we go, there's the bug. I want to be sensitive with it because sometimes um, the, this mushroom really digests the, the larva really good and sometimes it'll just be a mush of a bug down here. So I don't want to squish the bug if it's all mushy, um, but you can see it. Do they stay, does, is the bug alive or dead? It's dead, um, but the, these mushrooms can control the nervous system uh, and the muscular system of the insect. So it can control it to put the bug where it wants it to be while, it's, while the bug is still alive. So it'd be like your brain is still working and you can see out your eyes and your senses, but you can't move your arms and your legs. Something else is like moving your arms and your legs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So you can see the bug head right there. Yeah. That's so cool. Can't find you. It literally just grows. The cordyceps always grows out the bug's head. Isn't that crazy? Is that, awesome. is that because that's where it, it nests itself? I don't know why it always fruits out the brain. It like literally fruits out its brain. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like a it's like a nervous system thing. I don't know. I guess. Yee, hi. That's rare. I want that in the lab. Um, we want this for culture. Um, so in 2018 or 2019, I sent a sample of this mushroom, these mushrooms to Bastyr University, which is a more holistic university. It's a full on college. You can get degrees there. It's in Washington. My friend Rishi Strauss was going there and she did analytical research on this where you look at the compounds in it to see if it has the same medicinal compounds that's found in the cordyceps that we grow, which it doesn't have it, but it has adenosine in it, which is uh, one of the bases of, that makes up ATP. It's a nucleo base that we use in our body already for a lot of, ce of cellular function. Um, and she, ate, she took a bunch and made an extract of it that she put through the analytical machine and she took a bunch of it and she said she was tripped out. She said she was tripping off of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we, we still haven't done full research to say if this is toxic or not though. Like, so she was like- Because it could have been poisoning them. It was making Yeah, she did it out, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Right. She's like, I was like, all right, run it up. You're in the university. You were probably in the best situation to do it anyways. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Can I see it? Yeah. Now that we've seen this though, I really would like to um, see if we can't find just like a couple more, just in case that one doesn't give us a good, isn't, isn't that crazy though? In the summertime, they're orange though. At least they're orange, the ones that we're looking for. So you, you can, like so you can see it's like a different color, but so, like these black ones are super hard to find. I don't know anything about, so what, how would you go about um, cloning this? You, you just use like the spores? Um, That's all right. you clone these type of stuff? So this whole body is made up of the mycelium, the same of the same as the body of the fungus. Mm -hmm. So if we cut this open and pull a little bit of tissue out the inside, it's clean. It hasn't been all dirty or anything exposed. And we can put that onto a nutritive agar plate, uh, a, nu a nutritive, like it's like kind of like a jello so, and it'll just grow, the mycelium will just grow right back out. These guys are crazy long. Look at that, that's one of the